Hi, welcome back to The Rural Project. My name's Chris and uh, today we're down at the bottom of Slippery Hill and I'm going to continue working on the log bench. As you can see we've got the tools out, we've got the wood all ready. This is all the timber that goes on the top, all that's been shown in previous videos. Yeah, so today what we're going to do, get the chainsaw. So I've marked, marked on there where, where the cuts need to be. So we'll get the chainsaw, we'll cut down here, remove this piece of uh, piece of wood and then this will drop into the gap. I'll do the same in one, two, three pieces. What I'm going to do is ensure that they're, uh, they're level that way and level across. And then what that's going to give me is a frame then for the tabletop pieces to go onto. So once we've got this frame in place we'll drop the tabletop pieces on and uh, using a circular saw or a chainsaw we'll sort of cut them to length and nail them in place, screw them in place and uh, that'll be this bench finished. So let's get the chainsaw fired up and uh, yeah let's have a let's have a go at getting getting all these pieces put in place. Yeah, these steel dowels that I put in through here. I want to see how, uh, how deep they are because I certainly don't want to hit them with a chainsaw otherwise this uh, chain will be knackered and I'll have to be uh, sharpening a new one. be careful of it here is the steel dowel which is used to connect these two pieces of wood that's sort of just below the surface there so I'm going to nibble the material off around here all of this off all of this off and then uh, yeah we'll get a hammer and we'll just hammer that back in okay maybe I won't be uh, I'm going to after all, the other option is a piece of timber. I'll just stick a, a hole in there, which sits over the top of it, so no problem. All right, let's get this positioned and we'll get the hole drilled. Change of plan. When, uh, when I went to look at my tools, I'd forgotten to bring the drills with me. So I uh, just got the angle grinder on that and just cut that off. So now that sits in there nicely. I checked it with a level, so it's the now I'm not going to say it's a level because the whole bench is, is on a slope. You can see I've had to pack it out slightly and the whole bench is on a slope. But basically the tabletop is going to match the slope of the seats. So, right, so now we're, we'll get the chainsaw going and we'll, we'll cut the other two. So one on this side, one on this side. And there we'll get this tabletop or the frame of the tabletop, we'll get that in place. And then we'll go about lifting in some of the tabletop pieces. Alright, should be it within a look. I'll 
quietly is good enough for me. Right. Okay, now with uh, with all those three pieces set, what I'll do, I'll just get some screws and screw those in place, and then we'll go about loosely putting on the tabletop. I'm going to say loosely. I'm going to kind of position it. There'll be a lot of overlaps because it's all live edge. So I'll loosely position it, and then I'll come in and uh, and trim trim some of the edges that butt up to each other. So at least we get a bit of a continuous tabletop um, with a live edge on the ends. Okay, so we're going to secure these together. So this wood, it's a so this is a purchased hardwood, and it is very dense. So I do need to put a starter hole in there. So I've managed to find just a small diameter drill, so I'll use that as a, to create a starter hole. Once this once this screw is in, it'll screw into the uh, to the logs pretty easily. So we'll just repeat that now for the rest of these beams and then uh, bring you back to the tabletop. So this is, uh, this is where we start to see it all come together. Grab these tabletops, drop them in place and uh, see what it looks like. Okay, so those are the first two pieces. Now, look, the gap between them is not that massive, and uh, I'm not worried at all about that gap. It's, uh, it's quite manageable. So the idea being, got two wide pieces there, two wide pieces here, and then the one that sits on the top is going to be like the infill piece. What I'm thinking I'm going to do, I think I'll, I'll screw down those two. Idea being here, so we'll get them. We'll get them positioned, knowing these edges are, you know, all out of whack. But I'll get them actually screwed in position once I'm happy with them. And once we've got all of them screwed in position in the future, we'll drop a string line all the way down here, and we'll just square these edges up. I don't need to worry about squaring it up right now. It's all around getting the look of the table nice. You know I mean, so the live edge sort of curling down that way, I think, looks a lot nicer as we've got on these two. So what I can do, or I think what I will do, is I'll move this one to the far end, so you see the live edge curling the right way. I'll move, move these two more into the middle. Right, let's, uh, let's do a little bit of jiggling around and a bit of measuring and make sure things are all sort of square and level and even, and then I'll get this screwed in place. So hopefully you can see it's starting to come together now, pretty happy. Been a long time in the making this, just doing it every now and again when I uh, when I get a chance. Right, let's uh, do some shuffling and uh, screw this tabletop in place. That end piece there is now screwed in position, and that end piece is screwed in position as well. And I've just been, uh, as I say, jiggling around the other boards just to try and make them fit. 
and we're now actually cutting and we get pretty close because of the way this one has the, uh, the live edge rolling down that way and this one the top face is the better face and the live edge is going the other way they sit together not too bad at all to be honest so I don't need to cut much off that and then this one once this you know, there's only a small amount that needs cutting off this to try and make it fit and the same with this really it's uh, there, there is a gap there but this is a rustic look that I'm going for so pretty happy with uh, with the gap just as it stands there so I'm going to put put four screws in here put four screws in this one and then I'll play around with this middle one trim where I need to just so that I can get it to fit now let's whack a few screws in the final piece of the jigsaw is just going in so I've just trimmed this edge off here so that fits in pretty pretty snug in there now Hopefully it'll, uh, it'll pull down a bit. It's obviously got a bit of a warp on it at the moment, which is going to happen. Right, so I'll get that, get that board in the middle, just get that one screwed down, get four screws in it, and then uh, we'll see about what we need to do with these edges just to tidy them up. It is looking good and very close to being finished. thing I need to do really is drop a chalk line on here but I don't have my, uh, my chalk line with me. I'm pretty certain I've left it at home and pretty certain it's not in the garage so what I'm going to do I've got, got a string line with me I'll just pull a string line across and then I'll use a, a marker pen just to, to mark the tabletop where it needs to be cut and then we'll, uh, we'll tidy up these edges. So what I've done is I've set this line basically right on the edge of the of the seat. So as the seat comes along and then drops down, the line is, is perpendicular with that. So I'll cut this off now and then, then we'll have a look on the other side and see if I need to do exactly the same. It might not be exactly the same because this thing isn't, uh, you know, everything's not perfect and square. It's built out of logs so there's a bit of variety in the, in the shapes that we've got here. But we'll, uh, we'll see, we'll do one side first and then see what we do on the other side. So I'll grab the chainsaw now and basically just uh, rip my way down here and just cut off all these ends. <laughs> tied it up. That's what I'll do now. So I'll uh, do the same on the other side and I think this project is finished. But, uh, let's get the other side done first before we start celebrating. <laughs> So that's it for this video. Hopefully you've, uh, you've enjoyed it. The table's now all finished. I'll show you the finished product in, uh, in just a second. So really enjoyed doing this one. I am pretty satisfying. Bit of mill milling in there, bit of uh, log work, bit of debarking and, uh, and then fixing it all together. 
it is rustic, absolutely is rustic. It's not like uh, it's not like the ones that you see that the pros do, but it's absolutely functional. Uh, I'm going to get a fire pit in this area as well, and then this will uh, yeah, this will be pretty nice. The I'd say the uh, the only sort of mistake or whatever or the the, the error which I wished I didn't have to do was these uh, these tabletops. I was really hoping to be able to to get them full length, but the, the wood I just don't have the wood that's uh, the the right diameter to uh, to have the planks going along the, the length of the table. So having them yeah, perpendicular to the length of the table has, has worked well. Allowed me to use the wood that I've got here uh, and end up with a great uh, great garden bench. So thanks for watching. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. I uh, really appreciate you watching, and I will see you on the next one when who knows what we'll be doing on the rural project but no doubt it'll involve a chainsaw it'll involve some wood and it'll involve some sawdust okay stay tuned and we'll see you on the next one